Hey, boss. Wake up. Balsam. You know, I know you're out of town, but I can't find the insurance papers to the diner. I have very bad news. Me, would you call me right away? Come on, what happened? There's a fire, and they, nobody knows how it started. Are you all right? I'm fine. I wasn't here when it started. Apparently, it happened overnight. I know the wiring was up to code, and the kitchen was recently inspected. Was anybody hurt? No, thank God. And they have no idea how it started. These guys are investigating. I'll, I'll call Rex. He's great with these kinds of things. Oh, wait. He went to find Bo. Uh, well, I'll try a cell anyway. Maybe he's caught up with him and they're headed home. Bo? At least somebody remembers my name. Oh, I had the craziest dream. I dreamt... <laughs> <laughs> we were struck by lightning and set back to 1968. Yeah. Coffee zone? Chuck. Yes, sir? Oh, thank God we're home. Hey, Dad. Son, how are these cow folks doing today? Paper. Thought you'd like to look, see? Thank you. LBJ's back from a conference. LBJ? Uh, Soviet Union's holding uh, military exercises. Mickey Mantle goes one Mickey for Man three. What's the date? July 29th. 1968. Well, it wasn't a dream. We're stuck in 1968. Okay, this is really starting to creep me out. Okay, it's been two days. I was sure we'd wake up back in the future. Or the present. Or the now. Our now. Bye -bye. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee sounds good. Okay, maybe a couple eggs. Sure thing. Hey, Issa. Uh, we've been friends a long time. Yeah, we sure have. You sure have? Yeah. What's on your mind, I... <coughs> Chuck? Well, uh, I was just thinking that maybe you two boy. How long has it been since you and your son took a vacation? I mean, it's just years by my count. Call up one of them fancy hotels and book yourself a suite. Don't take a trip while you still can. You know what, uh, Chuck? I just might take your advice. Good. No, I'm glad. While you still can, what does that mean? I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Paulson, we are going to phone home. I have more than one fuse box. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a second. Oh, excuse me, Gigi. Yeah, there's a second one in the basement. Oh, what happened to this place? <laughs> there was a fire. Poor Carlotta, she said it's a total loss. Did you follow me? No. You left this on the counter. I always leave it there. If she needs to reach me, he just calls me here. Not today. Besides, I wanted to talk to you. You snuck out. I had to get Shane to day camp. You were supposed to wake me up, remember? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot. And you said you were going to look for work? I am. As soon as I say what I came here to say. Yes, hello. Uh, I'm trying to reach a friend of mine in Pennsylvania, and they say that that's not a, a working number, and I happen to know for a fact that it really is. It's uh, area code 267. Are you sure about that? Yeah, okay, no, no, thank you. What'd she say? She says that the area code 267 does not exist in the United States. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but it's true. Area code 267 wasn't really added until, like, the late 90s. So it's still 1968, everywhere. Looks like it. But how, how, how did we lose 40 years? I don't know, but we sure did. Okay, maybe, maybe, um, okay, maybe we're still asleep or, or we're in a coma somewhere from the lightning. All I know for a fact is that uh, you're you and I'm me. Huh. 
That depends on who you ask, because according to, well, everybody so far, you're Asa and I'm Bo. You know what really bothers me about all this? I mean, even if we did fall through the cracks and well, somehow we end up in 1968, why isn't Chuck Sr. himself? I mean, why is it, why is Nigel under that hat? I don't know. Nobody's who they say they are. Maria is Natalie. Jared is Clint. That's what makes us feel like some dopey dream. Everybody in our lives is here, only there's somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm clawing you're me. That's just the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> you're right. So what do we do? How do we get home? I don't think we can do that just yet. I think we might just have to bide our time. While you stay here and sleep with Emma Bradley. No, I did not sleep with Emma Bradley. Well, according to her, you did, Mr. Big Spender. That was Pa, okay? You know, he pretty much bankrolled uh, Renee's brothel there in Nevada. Now, Emma's holed up here in Paris with Spencer Truman. Wait for you to come over and sleep with her again. Who's my husband been sleeping with this time? See? Well, that's real cute, Asa. I'm Olympia, your wife, and this Lindsay character, who you've obviously slept with. That slut better not come within a mile of this ranch if she values her life. No, I'm not sleeping with anybody, I promise. Thanks, I'm sorry. I didn't realize Miss Buchanan's door was unlocked. You can keep me locked up, but you can't hide the truth from me. No, I'm not hiding anything. Don't you lie to me! Me? Lie to you? What do you judge me? You're the one that faked a mental illness to keep from going to prison for murder. No. Oh, no. Chuck! I'm right here, ma'am. I know she looks like Lindsay, but she's not. Here you go, ma'am. Last glass of that mineral water you like. He said, I know you've been holding out hope, but I don't think there's anything fake about your wife's condition. She plumb lost her grip. Now... Remember, we talked about, you know, that sanitarium outside of Houston. We got the brochures, real pretty place, window boxes and bingo and everything. Now, I know you weren't keen on the idea, but she'll be looked after. I think maybe you might be right. That woman is not my mother. Why is she staring at me? Oh, my baby, my little boy, you got married without telling your own mother? No, no, of course not. Uh, I wouldn't do that. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, just a, it, it's a joke. Right, it's a joke. Well, that's not funny, especially right now. Right now? I'm not letting them take you away. What, what are you talking about? Uh, um, Mom, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I know, because I'm not letting them take you. You're going to have to clue me in, Pa. Do what, what, you know what she's talking about? Do you, do you think we'd have what you call a normal relationship? We don't have a relationship, period. Sure we do. We, you know, it's just not normal. We live together. We're roommates. Well, as far as everybody knows, I'm I'm Shane's daddy. Yeah, and I still don't you understand why you're going along with finish. that. But okay. please, look at what happened. I mean, when I when I met you, you were pregnant, and then before we could kind of get things sorted out, I shipped out. Then my hateful old mother told you I died, told me that you'd run out on me, which I mean, it took years for us to get to where we are now, and. Uh, which is not what you'd call normal. You with me so far? Yeah, well, well, what's the point, bro? I'm trying to ask you out, woman. You mean like on a date? Yeah, a date. Like normal people? <laughs> so what do you say? <clears throat> woman, what is all this fussing about? This is all your fault. What do you mean, my fault? Don't you worry about a thing, Mrs. Buchanan. Bo and I will look after each other. Um, I, I don't need anyone looking out for me. Thanks. 
I'm not going anywhere. Except maybe 2008 if I'm lucky. Oh, son, I know you're just saying that because you want to make me feel better. But I'm not so far gone that I don't know what's really going on here. You are sending my boy to fight in that terrible Vietnam War.